Okay, we're going to go ahead and install these RGB LED rock lights from Subaru. Just kind of doing a little setup video to show you how we're going to do it. And um, then, of course, we'll take video when it's done. So my son decided he'd rather have these on the inside of his car. So we're going to put them under the dash and under the front seats in his um, Subaru Legacy. So to get over here to, um, to get to power, there's an easy place to push through right here same place we push through for an amplifier so that'll be easy with the power in the ground and then here we have all the lights so he's just kind of laid them out nicely they're ready to go since we're doing everything on the inside of the car i am going to just try to go ahead and just use the stickers only i don't want to drill any unnecessary holes in there in the plastic or anything unless these start falling down all right so that's kind of the plan we're going to push the power through first and then we're going to go ahead and kind of lay these out and connect them so again it's this super -y rgb led rock lights of course you can certainly use them on the outside in the wheel wells like it shows on the box or you can put them inside all right so earlier i showed you um how we were kind of going to lay things out kind of just a little setup for the install so we went ahead and did the install wasn't too bad, except it's really hot out. But other than that, it wasn't very difficult. So this is the Super E RGB LED rock lights. I wanted to show you briefly the tools I used. Now, you don't necessarily need all these tools. I have a lot of tools, so I like to use them whenever I can. So we've got your Ryobi heat gun. We've got a little Olsa tools. We've got their uh, needle nose pliers and a wire cutter from Gear Wrench. You've got your pick. And then I needed the little... Um, ratchet just for uh, securing the um, power and ground, your Nipex wire stripper, and then your Data Shark um, zip tie gun. So used a lot of zip ties because we had extra cable so to make it fit in the right places. All right, so we got it connected over here. Okay, just kind of followed the um, power cable from his amplifier. So that's how we went ahead, got to the battery. So that was nice. And like I said, he wanted them inside his car. So what we did is we went ahead and we put them in up underneath here. So I know it's kind of hard to see. Well, nope, you can see that one good. So there's we put two on each side under the dash, and then we put two under the seats. And then if you look straight up here, that's where the uh, button is. So, but of course he'll probably use the remote primarily. So we got those under the dash on the driver's side. The two on the passenger side are in a similar spot. And then under the seats, we actually didn't even secure them. We just went ahead and just set them under here. So um, just so that they can, and there's some slack in case the seats moved and everything. So there shouldn't be any issues. If there are, we'll find something that we can do. So anyway, it's obviously too light out right now to show you them working, but we've tested them and uh and they work fine so this is them the soup re rgb led rock lights and i'll do another demo of them actually in use tonight 